Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to filter activities that are displayed in Salesforce activities timeline. Activities uh, uh, lightning component on the lightning record page displays all the activities that are taken part as part of the particular record and uh, all the activities that has to be taken care in the future and what are all the activities that are currently uh, pending for that particular uh, record. Uh, but if a rep or an agent wants to filter those records that are displayed on that uh, particular activity uh, timeline, uh, Salesforce uh, uh, gives us an option where we can filter. So we are going to see how to uh, use that filter and how to display it. Um, we can permanently save that changes uh, for each and every user can uh, do it or uh, we can temp temporarily uh, apply the filter and see what are all the records and then we can move on so that it is not saved um, um, when they come back to the same record the changes whatever we applied on that particular filter will not be displayed okay so first uh, i'm opening an account record so these are all my completed activities and these are all my uh, um, upcoming activities so here we have a gear icon which is nothing but activity uh, timeline settings so once you click this gear icon you will see all the filters so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the date ranges next to seven days I'm going to show all the activities even if uh, somebody uh, who is going to reach out to the customer on behalf of me or, or if they are working with the same customer in parallel I wanted to see and uh, activity type I wanted to see what are all the events that are going to happen so I'm going to unselect all types and I'm going to select only events okay. and uh, if you click apply the changes will be applied so we can see it but it won't be saved so I'm just clicking uh, apply so there are only two uh, upcoming uh, events and uh, um, here it also displays an information that it, it is uh, filtered so in uh, in, in case uh, we, uh, we miss some uh, related uh, records on this activities timeline then this will help us to understand that okay we have done some filter here and um, if I refresh the page the filters whatever we applied will be gone see I'm still able to see all it is because we used apply and not apply and save even if you click apply and save in the future if you want to restore the default filters that came as part of the component then you can use restore defaults so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same filter but in this case I'm going to use apply and save so now if you refresh the changes whatever uh, I did should stay since I used apply and save yeah you can also click show all activities since it, it is filtered so that it will display all the activities that are part of this particular account record I hope it was helpful thank you for watching